Hey there, thank you for watching my channel. I've got a new stitch for you to show and this is this stitch, it's a 3D stitch and this is the front, this is the back, it looks very uh, similar and um, it's when you have the first row done then it is a second row repeat so it's just one row you have to repeat for the rest of your crochet work and I'm going to show you how to do this so I'm going to take my yarn it's over here and I have a 4 millimeter crochet hook first you're making a slip knot and then we are going to crochet chains we are making a multiple of three so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen if your work is as wide as you want it to be and uh, multiples a uh, multiple of three then just add two more chains and then add three more chains one two three that three here is a counts as a double crochet and that's two chains here it counts as just two chains you have to skip okay so for uh, row one you're skipping one two three four five stitches and in a sixth stitch we are making a double crochet in that same stitch we're making another double crochet then chain two and in that same stitch you made your two double crochets then you make a single crochet okay then we are skipping two chains and in the next chain we're doing the same so in all in just one stitch we're making a double crochet and another double crochet so two double crochets and then chain two and in that same stitch we're making a single crochet let's repeat that for the rest of this row until you have two stitches left so skip one two stitches and in the next stitch make two times a double crochet one and two then chain two and then a single crochet in that same stitch skip two stitches and in the next stitch two times a double crochet one and two chain two and in that same stitch a single crochet skip two Stitch stitches and in the next stitch just two times a double crochet one and two chain two and in the same stitch a single crochet so now I'm at the end of my row and I have two stitches left now we're gonna make two chains and in the last uh, chain from your row we're making a double crochet okay so this is row one and for now it looks like there will not be some 3d pattern in it but for the next row row two we're making the three 3d stitch so what we're gonna do now is gonna do two chains and turn this first space over here we're gonna skip in the next chain 2 space from your 3D uh, stitch I'm gonna call it a 3D stitch in that chain 2 space we are making two times a double crochet so one double crochet two double crochet and then chain 2 and with the next stitch here this double crochet we're making a back post single crochet 
So your hook is going from the back to the front around that double crochet and put it back to the back. And then you draw up a loop and then you're going to finish your single crochet. And here is where your 3D stitch will pop out at the back. Okay, so for your next 3D uh, stitch here, your chain 2 space, we're going to do that same thing again. So two times a double crochet in that chain 2 space, one and two double crochets, then chain 2, one and two, and then we have that uh, double crochet over here and we're making a back post single crochet. And then again, so for the rest of your work here in the chain two spaces, we're doing the 3D stitch. So one double crochet, two double crochet, chain two, back post, single crochet around the next double crochet. And again, in a chain 2 space, make a double crochet, another double crochet, chain 2, and then make a back post, single crochet around that next double crochet. And I'm at my last uh, 3D stitch. I'm going to do the same over here. So two times a double crochet in that chain 2 space. Then chain 2. And then we're making a back post single crochet around that double crochet from your previous row. And I'm at the end here, so now I'm making two chains and over the top over here we have one, two, three, four, five, and we're making a one, two, three. In that third chain we are making a double crochet. Okay, so I'll show you one more time what you have to do, and this is uh, just this uh, row you have to repeat. So chain two, turn your work. That first space over here, you're gonna leave it like that. And in a chain two space over here, we are making two times a double crochet. So one double crochet, two double crochet, then chain two, and around that next double crochet from your row two, you're making a back post single crochet. And you have to do this for every chain 2 space from your 3D stitch. So in every 2 chain space we're making 2 times a double crochet, then chain 2, and around that next double crochet we're making a back post single crochet. So I'll continue this until I'm at the end of my row. This is how you see that the back post single crochets are pushing stitches to the front and then you see that nice 3D stitch you're creating with this stitch. So 
So this is the last 3D stitch I made and then we are chaining two and we are making a double crochet over here at the top of the chain two of your previous row and you're making your edges nice and straight with that last double crochet so if your work is a little bit uh, turning like this curling then your base chain was a little bit too tight so just make sure your base chain is um, loosely crocheted so this is what I wanted to show you the 3D stitch and you can see how lovely it is with the back post single crochets you get a nice texture and um, well I hope you enjoyed this stitch and if you do not want to miss any of my new videos I am planning some more videos for you and uh, if you don't want to miss anything just subscribe to my channel and put on a notification so you get a well you get a notification when I have a new video uploaded and if you appreciate the work I'm doing and you don't want to uh, donate to make some uh, if you want to donate to my channel so I can still make some content for YouTube in the description are two links uh, where you can make a donation but um, well I hope you enjoyed this and happy crocheting bye bye